right, guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Luna. It's our last weekend before school starts for her mama. So Sarah's off having a good time and I have the Luna dog. Alex is laying in his little bed over there and Wellington is outside. So I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today with a little bonus at the end of some Target Dollar Spot crafty goodness that I found. We have coffee, we've got a dog, let's get started. Let me put this behind me so she doesn't knock it over. Okay, we got a little bit of, you know, some houseware stuff. I found these, Homeline. Now I did see the four pack of Homeline paper towels at my store, but they didn't have a lot on the roll. These are a full roll, two for a dollar, nice and big, and they're select a size. So I grabbed two because these I like. And you know, we all need paper towels. I use them especially crafting. I don't necessarily use a lot of paper towels um, in my kitchen. I try not to, but sometimes we just need them, right? All right, I'm just, there's really no rhyme or reason here. I found a brown t-shirt, just a youth size. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do either a pumpkin with it or some some such, but I liked the color for fall. So I grabbed that, it is a child size, so no need to talk about wasteful. This one Dollar Tree I went to uses rolls of paper towels to wrap cheap glass stuff. That's kind of disturbing. I'll keep this and use it in my craft room. Um, I did pick up one more of these glass bowls. I have, I think I have two, I had two, I broke one, so I just got a replacement. Nothing too exciting, but I love these for food storage. They go in the microwave, take stuff to work. They're great. I've not had any issues with them going in the microwave or the refrigerator. I have not tried freezing anything with that. Um, let's take a look here. Oh, another boring, I mean, I say boring, but householdy good which actually is not boring. Look at this mumbo jumbo size bottle of, I'm gonna spill it all over my carpet, uh, soft soap, refreshing citrus, 800 plus dispenses. This is a 50 fluid ounce bottle, 50. I'm sending it home with my cousin because, um, you know, she's got all the kids at her house all the time and can really appreciate this. I am well stocked on soap, but I wanted to show you what I found at my store. There was a couple left. I just grabbed the one. So it will go in a bag in case it spills. We don't want that mess anywhere. So I thought that was super exciting. Luna, come here. You want me to show you, say hi to our friends? <laughs> this is Luna Dog. She is, I think six years old, five years old, seven. I don't know. Hers an old girl. She, I think she's six. Uh, right? You say hi? She's crazy. But we love her. We love her, right? Right, sweetheart. Well, she's a little spastic. Her only friends in the world are the cats. And they love her. Go get your toy. Oh, okay, go get it. All right. Now, I got two of this item, but I used one already. Behind me. On that basket, which you'll see a DIY video coming out tomorrow, a bunch of Dollar Tree fall, Halloween's giving decorations. So we're back at Halloween's giving time. Um, but I found this little package of signs. Guys, they're great. If you find them, grab them. They say things like farm fresh, welcome fall, blessed, hello fall, welcome autumn. Fantastic little signs. They're attached so you don't have to space anything. You can paint them, you can use them regular, you can stain them. These are amazing for one stinking dollar. Now, if you can't find these, go to um, Hobby Lobby because they sell some too. So I grabbed that, that's for my crafty business. A lot of this is gonna be crafty stuff. I grabbed a pack of these. I enjoy this size, the like one inch wide brush. It's really great for a lot of the crafting that I do. And this is a pack of six. And I will tell you, I do try to wash them out, but if I'm not pressed if I can. Um, sometimes I do like to keep the handle. 
um, for projects, it's a nice big wooden handle. So I'll cut, like cut the tip off and keep the handle, but the foam, you know, it's good for a couple uses and that's about it. So I grab those and to get six of them, that's pretty decent amount. Um, crafty business, I did buy this kid's belt. Why, you might ask? Uh, I'm thinking of bundling up some firewood and laying it next to my fireplace or some books on my mantle. I wish it was in brown, it's not. I also wish it was a little more distressed, it's not. But what it is, one dollar. Um, I think this is from Walmart, if I had to guess. Uh, but it's regularly priced $5.99. And it's a boy's 24, 26 inch. And if I want it shorter, I can always cut it and put new holes in it if I want to make it tighter. But I thought this would be fun to bundle up, even bundle up some firewood and then stick it in a metal bucket. I think that would be fun, like a little display for winter next to my fireplace. So we grabbed one of those. Oh, fall. Okay, so if you see behind me, and that sign there will be, um, because you're not going to get a good look at it, but look at this one. <gasps> Guys, and look at, I love the, the script on the back. And in the middle of that E, I mean, just look at it. Okay, yes, it's a glitter bomb. Yes, I'm going to spray it down. I love this sign. This is going to sit just like this, right up on top of my mantle. For how, when I, so what I do, if you're new to my channel, the following's giving... Here, let's do our thumbnail. Um, Following's giving this is I decorate for fall. Then I bring in some Halloween, splatter it here or there, because I'm not a huge Halloween decor person, but I enjoy putting out like a sign and some things. So then I bring out my Halloween, and then I take the Halloween away, and then I add a little more Thanksgiving to switch things up. But it really becomes Following's giving. Starts with fall, ends with Thanksgiving, and then I add some Christmas, and we call it. And then the Christmas goes into like the winter decor. Uh, Ma'am, can you not step on that? Thank you. I was walking all over my sign. Thanks. Um, some more Halloween. This I'm gonna put, we're not licking today, ma'am. What are you doing? Here. She's a licker. Um, they had this in two sizes at my store. Probably it came in three. But this is a perfect size for my tiered tray. And I'm gonna put something up in here, but I just will plop this in. Again, following's giving. I start my tray for fall, then I add some Halloween, and then I'll take some things out and add some Thanksgiving decor. But I love that. I liked the colors. I just liked how it feels. It's a little spooky, but then we got smiley pumpkins, which brings it right back to, you know, my kind of Halloween. And then I love the little, those and what you can do is tighten them up on the inside if you don't want the strings hanging up but you also don't want to get rid of them i'm just straightening it because it's a little twisted here but like when i stick it in my tray it'll probably go in like this and it could look like a book as well so that'll go out for halloween i found one guys i found one this the lid comes off now, Chic on the Cheap, I don't remember her name, but Chic on the Cheap made a candle out of this, out of one of the tall, and I have one over here, out of one of these emergency candles, um, or prayer candles, or whatever these are called, there's a name for them, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I just don't know what they're called, but I'm going to do something different with this color red for Christmas, but you melt it down, and she put the wick in here, and she said one of these fills this, and I'm going to make a candle. It won't be scented, but that's okay. I'll have plenty of Bath & Body Works scented candles. I just like to burn candles. So I thought this is fantastic. Um, you could do some like, if you have a Cricut, you could put like Boo or Eek or something and gift it to somebody. These, I'm waiting for them to come out in the black. I'm gonna use my Cricut and do a faux Ray Dunn font on them. So this one will probably be fa la 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 for Christmas time, I think. Um, but I love making them. They burn fantastic. They're pretty safe too because they, they really are self-contained. And I love these candles. So I'll take the wrapper off of this one. It'll probably come off 
pretty easy. Like that. You all know I have to peel all my labels, right? That comes off. So don't worry if you see one with a label on it. And now it looks a little more pink under there, but that's okay. But I'm gonna put like that and then maybe I'll put like, I don't know, something across the top. But I'm gonna make a faux ray done out of those. So I'm looking for black. And um, there's a candle burning behind me and I was like, girl, is my hair on fire? It's not. Don't worry, I'm just warm. It's warm in here today, guys. Okay, now, more. <gasps> I found it. I have been obsessed looking for this. There was literally one of this vase in my store. I love the shape. I'm gonna go old school and put rubber bands around it and then spray paint it and then cut the rubber bands off and you get these little funky like stripes all over it. I'm gonna do that and put this in my dining room for fall with some greenery or something. It'll get decorated in the purple color and maybe with those orange pumpkins that are or the yellow pumpkins. We'll see. But I, I was desperate to find this and I found it. So I'll run it through the dishwasher Anytime you're gonna spray paint something, you really want like, there's a lot of like grease and oils from hands and machinery and stuff on it. So I will run this through my dishwasher. Oh, and this brand is Crystal, C-R-I-S-T-A-L. Um, I don't know, out of New York. It's not a, it's not a green briar. So I don't know if we'll see it at all the stores and it does have a tag on the bottom. No, I just said it. The tag's drive me nuts, so. But it'll run through the dishwasher, and I'm sure the tag will come off, or I'll just sit here and pick at it until it comes off. But anyway, this will get run through the dishwasher first, and then I will spray paint that. And I will tell you, spray painting is a quick and easy way to get a nice, even base coat on anything you want to craft. It doesn't matter what it is. Spray paint does the trick. Now, if you don't have access to spray paint, you can hand paint things. You just get a thicker texture and maybe some lines and stuff, but it depends. Um, and I will say that I buy a lot of my spray paint at um, Walmart for 97 cents. So there's that. Okay. Um, for the kitchen, I buy these fairly regularly. Also, I use these under my plants. So when I water my plants, this absorbs it. Just be careful if you're on a wood surface that you don't leave saturated you know if it gets a little overspill or a little humidity on here that's fine but i wouldn't let this get saturated on your wooden floor or your wooden like windowsill or whatever but these are great under plants and i put this under my coffee pot so it gets a lot of pulling in and out use so i grabbed a black one for fall because my kitchen is black and white buffalo check with lemons right now but um I wanted the black, so I grabbed it. I found, guys, the stickers. I found the last, the other pack of stickers I didn't have. And what I enjoy is like this tealy one, these white ones are flat, so they can go in my planner, and then these are textured, so they're bump out. So you get a mixture, like this one here, this little white one, with that, this pumpkin here is flat, that's not. That one's flat, so you get a mixture of both. Like this one is com is not flat. This one is a little both flat and not, so it's interesting. But I love them. The animal prints are cute. And I love that one right there. And that will go in my planner. Because that's how I roll. I roll. <sighs> All right, I picked up some Mod Podge just in matte. I need to get the glossy too. I enjoy Mod Podge to seal things that I have painted. Now, fun fact. If you paint something with crafter's paint and you're trying to seal it with Mod Podge, be very, very careful. If you keep going over the same spot, you could potentially lift the paint under it and smear it. So if it's something that I've hand painted or like printed off my printer or something, I tend to use an aerosol sealant uh, because it doesn't run or make the paint under it run this is great for like wooden projects something i've stained something i've sealed or something i have already spray painted 
because it's not going to run the spray paint. But I use this, you know, for different, in different applications. But I will tell you, if you're going to seal something that you have hand painted, I would go with the spray and be very light with it, opposed to using something with a brush. And that's just my experience. Your mileage may vary. Um, you know, I also tend to be impatient and don't wait for things to fully dry. So there's that little caveat. But I do love my Mod Podge and I love getting the little containers. It may not be cost effective in the long run. However, um, I feel like I don't use the big bottles enough to get them used up before they like dry up or get gross. So I enjoy the small bottles, but that's me. Again, I don't use a ton of Mod Podge. So there's that. Um, I did pick up one of these. I bought them. I've purchased these before. It is, it's like a organza with some gold leaves on it. And I think this would be really pretty stretched over a wooden something or a canvas even. I don't know. I always just want to do something fantastic with it. And I have yet to find fantastic, but I just love it. Look at that. You can see through it. And then that, ooh, ooh, I think I know what this is going to become. I could put down a table runner and just lay this over the table runner. And that will be so pretty on my coffee table. Done, done. But I love these. You can use them for all sorts of things, but I just love the gold leaves. You can also lay it on my mantle, which will be fantastic. I don't have a ton of stuff today, guys. I thought I had a bunch. Well, I mean, I do, but I don't. I found these. And they're just called home decor. You can hang them. They obviously have a hook on them. But let me see this one. The hook comes out. And I may, like, cut the bump off and fill that in and paint it. I don't know. I would like these not to have the bump and sit up on a shelf. Um, this is going to be more in my spring box. I'll put this with my summer could also go in a big old tier tray. If you've got a tall tier tray, you need larger items. But I felt like this for me is gonna go more in my spring decor opposed to fall. However, you could paint this and make it fit any decor. And at the Dollar Tree, as you well know, you find it, you buy it because it's not gonna stick around and it may not be back in spring. It may, but it may not. So I just grabbed them. And what I will do is when I go to put my summer, spring stuff away, when I bring out fall, I will pack these in that tote. And then next spring, I will be able to pull them out and utilize them wherever I would like. And they don't take up a ton of room. But like I said, if I wanted to use it for fall, I could easily paint this, do anything I want with it. I need to put that over there because I'm getting ready to go get my fall tote, my spring totes. Hi. Um, I did find the Scarecrow little paint it yourself do hickey. Can you start, please? Thank you. Do hickey. Uh, a little ceramic. These are fantastic. Um, again, spray paint. Then you can paint over it. You can um, leave it, seal it. You could glitter this whole thing. I mean, there's a million things you could do. If you got any little people in your life, set them up with some paint and let them go to town and make it their own. Seal it, sign the bottom with the date that they created it, and now you have a keepsake from your grandkids, your little children, your school. Okay, I'm gonna need you to stop. Thank you. Um, thank you, good job. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. I have on my Christmas tree, a bunch of ornaments that my nieces and great nieces did uh, when they were little and we signed the back and they put the date and then spray painted them with sealant and they stayed and I use them every year so these are fantastic little keepsakes that you can do or go to a nursing home if you have anybody there go visit them sit, bring some projects sit down do some crafting I mean spend time with the ones you love and here's a little project you can do with those folks so these are fun and they're pretty basic, I would say. So you don't need a lot of hand-eye coordination. You can just make them how you will. And then just take a can of sealant and spray them. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna stop now. Okay, where's your joy? <gasps> Go get it. I'm gonna get her a treat and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got her a treat. Okay, what do I got? Oh, I found these. And this one actually came open. So I'll show you what they are. They're just wood chips. 
Dobbs. Want to say hi? This is Mr. Wellington. He's my old man. Yeah, okay. He just came in. Sorry. These are wood chip. But I will tell you, they're fantastic. Do I love the decor? Yeah, they're great. But you can take any scrap of paper and glue it over that and make whatever decor you want to match your house. So I'm going to go look for some fun decor to match my color scheme. But the pumpkins, and you get eight pieces, so four of each. And again, I know I talked to your tray, but you can also make garland out of these. You can just lay them around. Coasters even. I don't know. There's a lot of things we can do with these. Stick them on the front to, de to decorate. But you get eight of them for a dollar, which I think is great. And then they have these uh, leaves, which again, I love. I'm not sure that I love the... I like the buffalo check a lot, but I might want to do something different. So I'm going to be look, ha, keeping my eye open for some craft paint. I'm sorry, some scrapbook paper that I think would match. You could also just use brown craft paper and then paint on it. I mean, there's there's a million things that you can do. Hi, honey. I, I don't know what these two are doing. Now the dog thinks she's mine. I don't know. But these are fun. And I think this is the last from the Dollar Tree of the fall things that I found. Now, for decor, I do have one more. I did find two of these. Um, anybody going to guess what color I'm going to spray paint them? You guessed it. Probably purple. I'm a little obsessed. It's okay. My niece laughs at me because when I get a color in my mind, everything becomes that color. Makes me happy. So I found two of these. They're gonna be perfect for my mantle because now that I have my TV hung, I need lower profile items. I might leave it white, I don't know. Um, I found some Christmas ideas for stockings or people in your life. You know, everybody lives on a budget and I think these are super fun. First of all, do you remember the game Simon? Well, this is it. How fun. Like what? It's a dollar. And it's called Memory Flash Challenge Your Memory. Ages three and up, auto off feature, batteries included. I mean, that is great for a stocking. How much fun would that be? I don't know how much fun it would be to listen to the eh, 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 but I think anybody would have fun. Young kids or adults strolling down memory lane. So I found one of those, thought I would share. And then I found these dice. These are role playing dice. If you got any teens that are into like role playing games, here's a nice set, set of dice. I just wanted to show, I don't have anybody in this world that does this that I know of, but I'll find somebody to give these dice to. But yeah, and they're fun. They're like sparkly. And the only reason I picked them up, I see this woman on TikTok making these dice all the time. So I'm assuming that there's some, a need for them because she's always making them. I don't know. But anybody in your life that is into that, Dollar Tree sells the dice. And then I saw these. Now these are for Legos. Um, they call them make it blocks at Dollar Tree. But it's the sports one. So I got the football field. They had a baseball diamond and a brown one. I'm not, I can't remember what the brown one was for. But I know they had red for baseball. They had the green for football and a brown. I don't remember what it was for. But all those little figurines, because this is going to be set up at football time uh, with little Tom Brady. Little Tom Brady's going to be playing football this year, guys, on his in his Patriots uniform. So yeah, I thought this was fantastic. If you have any little ones or adults that collect, like this is great for $1. Perfect, perfect Christmas goodies. So it's never too early. I talk about this all the time, but these are just some ideas that I grabbed that I thought would be fantastic, especially if you have young ones in your life. Have these at your house when they come over to play. Take them over. I mean, they're just fun little trinkets. But, you know, if your kids are into Legos, they're going to appreciate And sports, I think they're going to have fun with these. I just thought it was fantastic. So I grabbed those mostly to show you. Well, except for 
little Tom Brady. He needs them. All right. I might have went a little more nuts on the socks. I know. But I love them. So I grabbed the gold toe knee socks in black and these Argyle. So I do work in the wintertime at the stadium. I mean, due to the Delta variant, I don't know if we're going to have outdoor football, but I do work there. And in the winter, it's always nice to have knee socks under my pants to keep my legs warm and during hockey season. So I grabbed two pair of those and I have a larger calf and I'm telling you, they fit. They are fantastic. They have a good stretch to them. So I grabbed the two pack of those. Um, I did for gifting purposes, grab one more of this because I think this is a fabulous little gift for an office mate. This, some really nice nail polish, maybe some moisturizer is a great little gift and a gift card or something maybe. And it's two pair of black socks. If I don't decide to gift them, again, I need black socks to wear when I work at my part-time job and I was trying to replace some of my older ones. And that's the other thing, I'm going through my socks soon and getting rid of all the older stuff, but. So I grabbed another one of these because this is a Christmas gift for sure. And then I found these because they have tropical drinks on them, guys. And look at the toe color and the heel. Oh, now I don't typically wear socks in the summer. Well, athletic socks, but not like this, but I'll wear this in the winter. But there's tropical drinks on them. So I had to have those, duh. Now some of these are regular size, shoe size six to nine, and some are extended. I have, I'll find a pair of extended here. Um, but look at that, the purple with the roses. Um, I do wear a lot of ankle boots in the winter when I have to put clothes on, and these are fantastic length socks for those with jeans, so nobody sees them but me, but it makes me happy. And these are such a nice quality to them. I love, in the winter, a nice thick sock with my boots. So I grabbed the purple, um, black, because we just talked about for my part-time job, and this has a little, little design in it like a little cabling detail. Is this the extended size? No. I guess I don't have any here that are extended, but they do have the extended size, which I think is like eight to 13. Let me see what size these are. No, okay. And then my last pair for winter, I got these, which are fantastic again. And these are the regular, you know, size. I will tell you though that Gold Toe, are very generous with their sock. They are not tight, which I appreciate because I don't like a, so a tight sock. I like a thicker sock in the winter, but not tight. And then I grab these. And these are just because, you know, socks are not cheap. These are regularly $7 a pair, guys. And I got them for one stinking dollar. Um, some of them will be gifted, you know, just given to my, to my niece or whoever. And some of them will be, um, I'll wear them. And if I don't, decide to wear them, I will donate them without wearing them, without putting them on or opening the package. I'll just take them and donate them. All right. That is it for my Dollar Tree stuff, which I think was pretty fantastic this week. I've been super excited. Now I'm going to show you what I got at the Target Bullseye's Playground. What are we doing? No, we're not going to let go get your toy. Go get it. Him go get your toy. I know. I know. You want my attention. She said, why are you talking to that phone and not talking to me? Okay, sit down. Um, and they're coming out with their fall stuff slowly but surely. But this goes with my fall color scheme, this amber. Oh, guys, I love it. And it's just going to hold, I think, those round um, Dollar Tree picks that I grabbed. I think that'll be fantastic. So it's just an amber base. It was $3. Oh, I don't even have to pluck the tag on this one. The tag is already gone. So I grabbed that for decor. And then I think the rest in here is crafty dips, except for this. And it was on clearance for $2.40. But again, it kind of goes with my fall color scape. The color, it says citron breeze, but I'm telling you, I'm getting Christmas tree. I'm totally getting like winter Christmas. I don't know, I'll burn it, but it goes with my home decor colors even now, but especially for fall. And so it was regularly $8 and it was on clearance for $2.40. And I love the rustic feel of the vessel and it smells delicious. So we'll get that put out. 
let me pull the tag. And you can tell like a quality candle, there's even like little feet on it. I won't burn it yet. I'll wait till fall to take care of that, to burn that, but it smells good. And I'm not like, I can only burn winter candles in winter and summer candles in summer. I just burn what I like and I don't care. Cause that's how I roll. Okay, a couple things I grabbed at the Target Bullseye's Playground for DIYs. So first of all, they're selling these frames, which can be hung this way or this way. And then in them, this one says, hello, fall. And then there's some gourds and pumpkins. And you can paint them whatever color you want. You can paint this or not, and you can attach it. But everything you need besides the glue is in here. And it says one board to four pieces. And I believe you need like hot glue. They may be sticker backed. I don't know. It doesn't say if they're sticker backed, but I would just say you needed hot glue. So that's fine. Like again, with the kids or somebody, if you're not super crafty, the whole thing is done for you. All you have to do is pick a color and paint it and then attach your words. Done. You could also do one project with this, save your words and your pumpkins and do something else. I mean, it's it's yours there's endless amounts of possibilities for these and they had several different designs i think they even had one with the red truck i thought this was fun and yeah you just paint it stain it do whatever you want with it don't do anything to it and just hang it up i mean whatevs it's your cup of tea so i grabbed one of those and it was three dollars and then I picked up this board here. Now this is, it has hooks, so it's gonna hang. This side is chalkboard. This side is regular wood, unstained. It is two-sided and it comes with, this one has Halloween. Yep, they're both Halloween stencils. Bats, Happy Halloween, I Love Fall, Most of All. I like that. And then a maple leaf. So the stencils, right? They also have chalk pens. Now they sell chalk pens at the Dollar Tree as well, but these are designed for this. And it does say on here that it's, um, the white is non-toxic, works on chalkboard, erasable with a wet cloth. So that is a chalkboard pen, white chalk. These are metallic markers, not chalk. So this one just says non-toxic silver and gold paint pens. And these were two for a dollar. So it's even a better price than the Dollar Tree. But these on this side with your stencil, guys, and it's done for you. You can have the cutest chalk sign for $4. And you've got four different signs you can make on the chalkboard sign. And I love that they carry the, the, the black detail around the edge. You can put a, like a regular sign on this side. You can do a permanent, you can use a stencil. Again, the possibilities are endless. I grabbed two because reasons. I needed two. Plus I think I've had issues in the past with chalk, this liquid chalk stuff leaving a shadow. You can also use regular chalk by the way. It doesn't have to be this, but these were also $3 a piece. They had wreaths that you could make that were $3. I mean, they had a lot of self-contained craft kits for those of you that prefer a kit. So that, my friends, is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree this week and a few little goodies that I grabbed at Target. So I hope you enjoy. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, Comment down below what your favorite was and what you think you're going to do. And you have a fantastic day. Bye.